Hi, my name is Gerhard Schoenthal, Chief Operations Officer at Virginia Diodes Incorporated, and I would like to introduce you to our company, who are leaders in millimeter wave and terahertz test and measurement. Our technology leverages the Shockey diodes that are in our name. These Shockey diodes are used as up converters or multipliers or down converters and mixers. They help enable our core competencies. Our first core competency is being vertically integrated in millimeter wave and terahertz design from diodes through components to systems. The Shockey diodes enable those designs and have since the beginning of our company in 1996. We also take those diodes and other millimeter wave and terahertz ICs and package them in integrated millimeter wave assemblies. Our company originated from the radio astronomy community and have helped enable projects like the ALMA project that you see in this picture. We continue to be involved in radio astronomy and other big science projects and the radio astronomy projects that we have helped have produced images like this image of the black hole from 2019. Starting with radio astronomy and the diodes that the radio astronomers needed, we have evolved the company through producing components, putting those components in custom transmit and receive systems, and taking those custom radios and evolving them into a standard product line. Today, we are partners with Keysight to above one terahertz. Primarily, we work with Keysight from WR15 or 50 to 75 gigahertz, all the way up to WR0.65 or 1.1 to 1.5 terahertz, and all the waveguide bands in between. That collaboration is frequency extension modules for VNAs, spectrum analyzers, and signal generators. The VNA extension modules we consider our flagship product line with Keysight. They have full waveguide band coverage, high dynamic range and excellent stability, four different configurations to suit what you need and are available from WR28 to WR0.65. Some examples of those leading edge VNA extension solutions include the data from bands at WR10, 75 to 110 gigahertz, and WR3.4, 220 to 330 gigahertz. Here you will find unmatched dynamic range, for example, at WR3.4 of 115 dB typical and 105 dB minimum, and plus 1 dBm typical test port power. Those solutions go to WR1.5 and above, but WR1.5 is a good example of our highest frequencies for the VNA extension modules from 500 to 750 gigahertz, a dynamic range of 105 dB typical, and test port power at minus 15 dB typical. We also have the frequency extension modules for spectrum analyzers, and they include excellent spectral purity, phase noise, and communication signal demodulation. A specialty version of these spectrum analyzer extenders are our compact up and down converters. These systems are easy to use and well suited for high performance up and down conversion of wideband modulated millimeter wave signals, particularly for those involved in communications research. We also have the signal generator extension modules. They as well give full waveguide band coverage and high test port power unmatched in the market. Finally, 
Any millimeter wave in terahertz lab needs a power meter. And VDI offers the world's only power meter from 75 gigahertz to greater than three terahertz. Appreciate your attention today in listening to me talk about Virginia diodes, leaders in millimeter wave and terahertz test and measurement. Thank you.